Greetings, I'm Dr. Magoha, and today we'll be discussing a quick neuro hand exam. There are three main nerves that run between the shoulder and the fingertips in the upper extremity. These nerves are responsible for carrying messages from the brain to parts along the arm for movement, feeling, and reflexes. The nerves in the upper extremity leave the central nervous system through several areas in the neck and form a complex structure called the brachial plexus. The nerves are larger in diameter near the neck and eventually divide to form smaller branches in the upper limb, forearm, and hand. Injuries to the upper extremity occasionally cause trauma to nerves, which can interfere with various functions of the arm and hand. Sometimes certain illnesses can affect nerves and cause symptoms in the upper extremity. These are called neuropathies. Now let's talk about these specific nerves. Number one, the median nerve. The median nerve is the main nerve of the front of the forearm. It supplies muscles of the front of the forearm and muscles in the thena eminence, thus controlling coarse movements of the hand. How do we test it? Ask the patient to make a fist and a three-finger Boy Scout salute. Proximal median nerve injury will give you the hand of benediction, also known as the Pope's blessing. Distal median nerve injury will give you a median claw sign. Proximal and distal are defined as either above or below the elbow. Number two, the ulna nerve. The ulna nerve helps you grip things with your hands and aids fine motor skills like writing. It also helps your hands and fingers feel things like heat, softness, and pain. Ulnar nerve entrapment is a painful condition that affects your ability to grasp items. How do we test it? Ask the patient to make a peace sign. Ultra nerve entrapment can happen either at the wrist or the elbow, giving the patient an ulna claw hand. Number three, the radial nerve. The radial nerve provides motor and sensory functions to the arm. It stimulates muscles so that they can extend and thus raise your elbows, wrists, hands, and fingers. It provides touch, pain, and temperature sensations to portions of the back, back of the upper arm, forearm, and to the back of the hands and fingers. How do we test it? Ask the patient to make a thumbs up or to point with their thumb extended. Radial nerve palsies cause a wrist drop. Now let's do the quick examination together. Do a rock. Paper. Scissors. And lastly, an OK. Remember, all of the previously mentioned neuropathies have different patterns in alterations in sensation, but these will not be discussed here. Thank you for your attention and have a blessed day.